the beginning and the end of the EOS. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm going to be cleaning out the EOS today. Because as you saw by those clips, it's disgusting. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on with it. Um, I'm going to say there's some form of damp issue going on here. Yes, that is all mould. That isn't rubbed off leather. That is all mould. That is disgusting. Look at the, stick, the, the gear knob. The handbrake. It's actually revolting. It's even bad that you can, worse than you can see it from out here. So I'm going to be cleaning this out today. This is filthy. Disgusting. So I bought this little Hoover off Amazon. Uh, it was meant to be about 60 quid. I got it for about 27 in a sale. Um, I've already tested it out of my work van and it is really good for a little like handheld Hoover thing. Bought some glass, getting to clean the glass in the EOS. Bought some dress all purpose dressing as well to get the interior sorted. I have a feeling I'm going to be using a lot of this. And some white fibre cloths. Let's do this. Give this door card a nice clean. Looking ten times better already. Uh, so is the seat. It's looking less, less mouldy. Looking a lot better. Try and sort this mess out. Hopefully, get this filthy car looking at least half presentable. Right. So I've got the red foot footwell lights out. So it looks like it's one complete unit, I can't actually replace it. It's got little LEDs on the inside, as you can see. So I'm gonna take this home with me, have a look on eBay, see if I can find like, just like a plain white one to make it look a little bit nicer in here, rather than red. Uh, I think the white will give it a little bit, little bit more of a classier look. Well, I've just, just found about two or three quid tucked down there. That's some good news and bad news. So good news is, car's looking good. Get in there. Bad news. <sighs> this isn't great, is it? Look, took this out. Absolutely dripping wet. Look at that. word that's really put a spanner in the works now to find out where it's coming from look at it you, it, you can actually see where it's wet so the bargain EOS has turned out to be more shit than I first thought and I've got some deciding to do I've just got through just wiping everything down really you can see it's a hell of a lot cleaner than it was And look, hell of a lot cleaner than it was. Really impressed with how it looks now. And the worst part about it, I'll check the front to see what that's like. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind, this, is how this, this has a carpet in it. So let's peel the, car peel the carpet back. And I'll show you. Bear in mind it's been in a garage as well. So it's not as if it's been raining. So was it like that before and I didn't notice? I don't, I don't know. We have had some torrential rain um, recently. So yeah, I, I don't really know what to do now. I've just stopped cleaning it because it's kind of put like a spanner in the works, a bit of downer on the whole like situation really. 100% I can get my money back through the whole car. I mean, I really do like the wheels, but obviously I could could sell them. Um, could sell the wheels. Full over interior as well. I could, I could easily make my money back from this car, just in parts, and keep the engine and running gear. But then it's a case of 
keeping an engine and running gear in here. And then I can't buy another car to do a little series with, which I, I was really looking forward to do, doing. So I'm kind of stuck in, in between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> anyway, I just clean it up, list it for sale, as is, I don't know, 750, get my money back, plus a little bit of profit, and then we can go from there, I guess. What do you think? Is £750 a good idea or not? So as you can tell, the, uh, the Volkswagen Neos project flip car, it's not going to plan. I think I've made the decision to just list it as it is, try and get rid of it as it is, because... I think it's just going to cause me way too much headache trying to find out where that leak's come from. I'm going to have to take the whole interior out, all the seats, and take up the whole carpet just to clean, like, clean up the water, make sure it hasn't damaged anything, and then I have to strip the roof down it and try and locate where it's coming from there. So, if I can't tell it as it is for what I want, which is about 700, 800 pounds, which I still personally, I think that's amazing because you've got 12 months on OT. Uh, plenty of work done to it as well. So in my eyes, I think it's worth it. Worth It's worth 700 pounds easily. It's just, it needs someone that's going to take that time to look into the roof, really. So I'm going to get it listed, get it for sale, which is, this is, it was a short and sweet project that I didn't expect to go so south so quickly and if it doesn't sell i'm going to be splitting it for parts and either keep the running gear for my mark ii golf like i mentioned earlier on the video that my friend ben suggested i'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna list it on ebay tonight super sales i give myself um, a few weeks maybe a month couple of months i don't know yeah i, I want to get rid of it sooner rather than later so i can get another project in to to flip um is what it is it's a learning curve that's what all of these videos are about, like learning along the way is my journey to buy cars, flipping them, and, or buy cars, doing them up, flipping them, and hopefully making money. It is what it is, onwards and upwards to the next one. Um, hopefully I'll come back with another video. Um, I, I'm trying to get my mark back on the road as well. Uh, I had a bit, of a bit of an accident with that. I smashed a headlight. No! Please like and subscribe for uh, for more. <laughs> Hopefully not fails. I want to find a car that's like really good. So we'll see. Thank you very much for watching. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe. I will catch you in the next video. Probably be a Mark Three or motorbike related video until I get a new car to do up and sell. Hopefully, catch you in the next one. Cheers.